Hey guys, it's Chris at Highline Guitars. You're watching another one of my YouTube guitar building videos. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope that by the end of this video, you might consider subscribing because hey, it's free. In this video, I want to address a comment that was recently posted on one of my videos. Uh, it seems the viewer wanted to know my opinions about a specific make and model of CNC. Now, whenever it comes to reviewing products or materials or um, techniques that I use in building guitars, I'm very hesitant to offer an opinion about something I haven't actually tried in my shop before. So I want to be kind of careful about what I say about something based solely on specifications that I've read on the internet about a specific product. So I'm not going to actually mention the name of the CNC machine or the model. I'm simply going to give an opinion about the category that this CNC machine is um, marketed in. So this particular machine was marketed as being capable of building guitars. And there are uh, quite a few folks out there who are trying to use it to build guitars. And this viewer wanted to know, is this really true? Can a machine specced out this way actually make guitars? Now, the reason why I feel um, qualified to talk about this is because I've owned three, in, three different CNC machines over the years. Uh, I had an X-Carve original that I used for several years. Then I designed and built my own CNC machine, which by the way, if you'd like to build your own, I offer plans for that on my eGuitar Plans website, as well as down in my uh, YouTube merch shelf, which is displayed below the description for this video. And then I upgraded to the Inventables X-Carve Pro. So I have a pretty good idea of what kind of machines actually work for building guitars and what don't. The bottom line is, if it's too good to be true, or if it seems too good to be true, it probably and most likely is. Can a machine that is priced at $1,000 or less actually make a guitar? Well, the answer is yes, but with a huge asterisk. There are several things that you need to consider when looking at a machine like that before you pull the trigger. First of all, you have to consider your expectations. If you're just a weekend hobbyist and you're thinking you'd like to maybe make a guitar and, and maybe some other projects, one of those machines might work for you. If, however, you're thinking about taking your guitar building business to the next level by adding CNC capabilities, you might want to rethink the cheaper machines because what you're going to need is going to be of a much higher level. Typically, when we get into CNC, what we're looking to do is make a product as fast or faster than we were able to do so using traditional techniques. Now, with respect to guitars, that means a bandsaw, a drill press, a planer, a joiner, and a router. So the CNC machine should allow you to make a guitar body or a guitar neck as fast or faster than you could with those older machines. That's only if you're doing um, almost like a manufacturing approach. If you're looking to make guitar building your business and you need to turn guitars quicker and reduce your labor costs, then you would have to consider a machine that's capable of doing that. And most of those sub $1,000 machines simply can't do it. In fact, you may find that to make a neck or a body will take you considerably longer to use the CNC than it would be to use the traditional techniques, especially if you've been doing it for a while and feel pretty confident using your bandsaw and your router and, and templates. Over the years that I've been using CNC technology, I have upgraded from the original X-Carve to the CNC machine that I designed and then the X-Carve Pro. And with each one of those upgrades, I was able to enjoy a significant increase in productivity because each machine 
was able to run faster and cut deeper than the machine it was replacing. So I went from being able to carve a body in like six hours to being able to carve a body in less than two hours. And that's completely all the way from start to finish. With a lot of these budget CNC machines, the sub $1,000 machines, out of the box, you're probably not gonna be able to cut a guitar body uh, in a reasonable amount of time. In fact, you're probably not gonna be able to do any significant carving unless you do some significant upgrades. You're gonna need to replace the spindle and you're going to need to increase the workspace, uh, the cutting area that the machine is capable of. Now, when shopping for one of those sub $1,000 machines, there's a number of things you're gonna have to consider. And these are things that you're gonna wanna weigh with other possible decisions, which I'll explain in a minute. First thing you wanna do is look at the machine and its capabilities and its specifications out of the box when you first get it. Probably not gonna be able to cut guitars in its stock form. It's gonna to need to be modified. What will those modifications entail? Is this something that you can actually do? Is there a kit that you can purchase as an accessory to do this? And then you're gonna to have to consider what that cost is going to be because you'll, you'll spend, for example, $700 for the machine, but then you may spend another $300 for the upgrade kit to incre increase its capacity. Then you may have to spend a couple hundred dollars to replace the uh, tiny little spindle it comes with, with a spindle that can actually cut wood. So then you've added all that in there and you have to look at whether those modifications are gonna be easy to make. Is it uh, a simple matter of bolting it together or are you gonna to have to fabricate stuff? If you have to order those upgrades, is that something that can be shipped with your CNC machine or is it ordered separately? How long is that gonna to take to get there? What are the shipping costs? In the end, what you're gonna find is that that six hundred dollar eight hundred dollar uh, CNC budget CNC machine is going to start to cost you twelve hundred thirteen hundred or even more, and then um, when you start to look at other machines uh, like Chipoco or the Inventables X Carve Original, those are all complete with everything you need, no upgrades necessary right out of the box for about the same price, maybe even a little bit less. So take that into consideration as well. Another factor that is extremely important to consider and is often overlooked is what kind of software comes with the machine that you're gonna use. Now, if you're gonna be using, for example, uh, Shapoko or uh, Inventables X-Carve, you have access to software that will make it possible to run. Now, in truth, with a lot of these sub $1,000 CNC machines, you can also use those software programs with those machines. And a lot of people think, ooh, that's, you know, that's the way I'm gonna go because then the software is free, I don't have to pay for it. But you have to remember, you're getting just the basic software when it's free, and there's no telling how long it will remain free. So I don't want you to go out there and spend $600, $800 on a, a budget CNC machine thinking you can use Easel from Inventables. And then all of a sudden, Easel says, no, you can't. <laughs> because if that happens, and it could happen, that $600, $800 CNC machine is just a useless tool sitting on a table. And in order to use it, you're gonna to have to invest some money into software that you can use to run it, and that could get really expensive. Now, I'm not necessarily trying to dissuade you from using one of these budget cheapo CNC machines. I'm just trying to rein in your expectations a little bit so that if you do purchase one and it's a mistake, you'll have gone into it knowing the possibility that it would be a mistake. Because in the end, there is a massive difference between a CNC machine that has 25 millimeter ball screws and a CNC machine that uses belts. And that right there should be an indication of what the capabilities are. I'm not saying you can't build a, a guitar using one of those cheap CNC machines. I'm just saying it's going to be a real challenge and you may end up finding yourself having to upgrade down the road much sooner 
than you might have imagined. So I hope you found this video to be useful, and <laughs> I know it will be somewhat controversial to some folks. And in the end, uh, if you did find it useful, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And as always, if you'd like to help support the channel, you can visit my eGuitar Plans website, purchase a plan you know, for a CNC machine that you can build yourself, a guitar that you might want to build. And you, know, you can also visit my YouTube merch shelf where I have those same plans for sale as well as some t-shirts. So until the next episode, as always, take care, stay safe, and I hope to see you soon. <laughs>